Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jason, the CEO of CloudX and a project head of Creighton, a public blockchain platform backed by Kakao. Has anyone heard of Kakao? OK. Uh, Kakao might not be that well known outside of Korea, but within South Korea, Kakao is the number one mobile lifestyle company. 96% of Koreans use Kakao Talk every day. Kakao runs not only mobile messenger service, but also various mobile services such as mobile payment, e-commerce, cake contents, games, and even internet bank. Last year, Kakao added a new branch, GroundX, a blockchain subsidiary. The first output is Creighton, a public blockchain platform optimized for services and enterprises. So today, I will talk about how Kakao and Creighton will achieve mass adoption. If you remember, last year, all everyone talked about was ICO, DF, and protocol. This year, everyone's talking about blockchain mass adoption. But the problem is, how? Let's first have a look at some numbers on DF. DF stats are terrible. That's reality. Less than 2,000 DFs, only millions of DM users, and just thousands, thousands of daily active users, even on the top 10 DFs. So what's the problem? Why don't people use DFs? Why are there so few DFs that are actually useful in our day-to-day -day lives? This is what I think. We have identified key abstackers faced by three uh, customer categories of blockchain, end users, service providers, and enterprises. Current blockchain user interface are rather complicated for lay right people. And service providers suffer from a lack of users. There is no way for them to attract normal users as opposed to crypto users. Enterprises are rushing into study blockchain, but they got soon frustrated because current blockchain are new environment and not optimized for enterprise. This is where Creighton comes into the picture to shake things up. Everything about Creighton, including technology, token economy, community building, and so on, are aligned to this core distribution. In other words, mass adoption. The key of our distribution strategy is migrating existing users of services and enterprise into the blockchain world. The point here is that existing users are not crypto users, but normal users who are not familiar with crypto rules and may not even care about crypto trading. So, Creighton provides a hassle-free and seamless user experience by disrupting current crypto UX. And also, Creighton provides enterprise-friendly blockchain environment in order to encourage enterprises to bring in their users. I'm certain this is not just us. It's been a trend since early this year. Let me give you a brief rundown on blockchain evolution. First, blockchain 1.0. Back in 2009, Bitcoin was born. Blockchain was the core technology of Bitcoin. Then, blockchain 2.0. Ethereum changed the game by putting smart contracts into blockchain. And many innovators started to build the app in order to disrupt existing centralized business model. However, most of the app failed to prove decentralized business models. And people began to realize that decentralization is not easy to make into a viable business. Now comes blockchain 3.0. This is where the big change will happen. I defined blockchain 3.0 as pragmatic blockchain. This year, 2019, people have begun approaching blockchain realistically rather than idealistically as the focus. 
One such signal is that big enterprise like Samsung, Facebook, Kakao, JP Morgan, they have all launched blockchain projects in order to take advantage of what blockchain can offer to their businesses. Enterprise can utilize various blockchain features such as transparency, traceability, instant value transfer, and so on to create innovative applications which we like to call BF. This is a term that we have coined. It means blockchain application rather than decentralized application. Perhaps most importantly, pragmatic blockchain targets normal user, not crypto user who have entered this space from crypto exchanges. So these four are the, the pillars of pragmatic blockchain, and this will create blockchain mass adoption. Creighton is, uh, Creighton will be the first blockchain platform to achieve mass adoption in the pragmatic blockchain eras. In one sentence, Creighton is a hassle-free and hybrid blockchain platform optimized for services and enterprises. Firstly, Creighton provides a hassle-free and seamless user experience similar to mobile application by being integrated with Kakao. The second is hybrid blockchain for enterprises. Creighton provides its own public mainnet and also a private blockchain version of same code base, which we have named the service chain. These two are connected with each other, mixing the benefits of both. So enterprise can run their own service chain privately and leave the data footprints into public create mainnet, achieving, by, achieving both data integrity and privacy. And thirdly, uh, Creighton provides various user acquisition channels from existing services and enterprises. Now I will focus on this last part, user acquisition. Current blockchain don't provide user acquisition channel other than from exchanges. Creighton, we have three major user acquisition channels. Kakao, 50, 50 million users. Governance Council, hundreds of millions of users from large enterprises around the world. Finally, global service partners. They are mostly small and medium-sized enterprises and run consumer service based on their massive user base. They will launch their BF on our Creighton and will push their user base into Creighton. Creighton strategy involves professional business players that have, who have a large user base from traditional industries, while other platforms are gathering users from scratch. From now on, I will explain each channel in more detail. Creighton has three powerhouses, GroundX, KakaoTalk, and other Kakao services and subsidiaries. GroundX is the key developer and operator of Creighton. KakaoTalk has developed Creighton user tools, which will push their 50 million users into Creighton. And other Kakao subsidiaries are developing their own PFs on Creighton. And this will be the large scale reference services of Creighton. These two give us unfair advantage over other platforms. Let me explain more about Kakao. Kakao is a mega enterprise, so big. There is a term, Kakao Nation. For example, let's have a look at mobile messenger service, KakaoTalk. 96% of Koreans use KakaoTalk every day. Globally, number of mobile messenger service is WhatsApp. And there are other strong players like WeChat, Telegram, Line, and so on. But there is a key difference here. While they are number one globally, 
None of them have achieved this practically monopolistic market share, 96% in a single country. Moreover, you can consider Kakao as the combination of WhatsApp and uh, PayPal, Uber, and Steam, and so on in a single company with this practically monopolistic market share in a single country. So this gives us the perfect levels to try blockchain technology on all the major Asia groups and across the major, major service categories. But there are other mobile messengers like Line and Telegram that started their blockchain platform project. But look at this figure. Our stickiness is very high, almost 1.0. It means Kakao users spend much more time compared to Line and Telegram users. And also we have four times ARPU than Line. This is why we are confident Kakao is the perfect test bed to run new technologies like blockchain. Governance Council is in charge of our create nodes and making important decisions on creating improvement. Most members will launch their BF on Creighton and bring in their users. So who do we have as a governance council members? Only the best. These are some samples of our governance council members. PUBG is the creator of Battleground, a game with 400 million users globally. Average is a real estate company in Southeast Asia. We have diverse governance council with key players in different countries and in different industries. If you want to join governance council, please, hesitate, please don't hesitate to contact us. The same applies to service partners. Creighton has invited enterprises and service providers who are learning existing businesses and building BF globally. We already set up 26 initial service partners who will onboard on Creighton within a quarter after Creighton mainnet launch. They are spread across various industries ranging from contents, games, finance, healthcare, and lifestyle. We will continue to bring great application to our partnership program. We have all together a user base of 400 million worldwide. But this is not the end. Creighton has internal scheme that incentivize businesses and people to join the Creighton world. Depending on the type of participation, there are, there are three types of rewards with Cray, the token of Creighton. Governance Council are compensated by running Creighton nodes and participating governance. And service partners are rewarded by running the app on Creighton according to their contribution on Creighton economy. We named it POC, Proof of Contribution. It encourages service providers to deploy more BFs on Creighton by financially supporting them. Lastly, KIR, Creighton Improvement Reserve for communities and individuals. It's a first externally initiated idea that will make Creighton sustainable and stay relevant. These three reward schemes will attract enterprise service providers, and even communities to join the Creighton world. So this is my last part. Creighton position is very unique in the blockchain space. This is our strength. And South Korea is very unique in the world. This is our advantage. South Korea is good for blockchain mass adoption because of 15 million users 50 million population, and highly dense society. Koreans are well known for being very early adapted to new technology. 
And most Koreans are familiar with the concept of virtual items and virtual currency. If you, visit, if you have visited Korea, you will already know about our nation's enthusiasm for blockchain. Most importantly, Kakao holds the dominant position in all Koreans' mobile life. So Korea with Kakao and Creighton will be the first place to see mass adoption of normal users. And when will it happen? In just a few months. Creighton mainnet will be released by the end of June and often the fraud case of normal users. You can witness how Kakao and Creighton will change blockchain world. So stay tuned. Thank you for listening. That was a great presentation. Can we give another round of applause? <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Um, so the rest of the period here, we'll be asking some questions for Jason. My name is Joyce Yang. I am the founder of Global Coin Research. Some of you may have heard of it. We are a research platform that helps folks understand what's going on in Asia. So essentially, everyone who's outside of Asia wants to understand Asia now because of all the exchanges, tokens, and mining events that are happening there. So I'm really delighted to have Jason here today to talk to us about Clayton and GroundX. So Jason, I was in Seoul in January, and mm -hmm. we were in the bear market, but yes. I saw people still building, and you know, blockchain technology as well as dApps. Um, can you give us a download of what's going on there right now in Korea after the kimchi premium that we all okay. probably will, were very aware of last year? Okay, sure. Uh, in Korea, there's been a transition from crypto crazy to into blockchain boom. Uh, right there, if you remember, there is a very big boom in crypto trading. But as Korean government stepped in, uh, crypto hype has come down, and people turns their interest into blockchain itself. Uh, in terms of blockchain adoption, uh, most big enterprise, they started their own project like POC and pilot project. For example, Samsung, they launched their own crypto wallet into their new phone, Galaxy S10. It's very big news in Korea because Samsung is very influential in Korea, so it makes other big enterprise consider uh, blockchain seriously. So other big enterprise started their own blockchain project to explore blockchain itself. And also startup. Uh, last year, many Korean startups started their reverse ICO. And this year, they started to launch their DApps uh, and some of them will launch their DApps on our platform. So I'm certain uh, this kind of real use case will be uh, onboarded this year on Creighton. That's great. Um, we don't hear much about Creighton as well as GroundX and mm -hmm. Kakao generally in North America. Can you give us an idea what your team and you have been focusing on the last six months? My understanding is that you guys built the GroundX team only a year ago. Okay. Uh, actually, GroundX founded the rest, uh, rest March of last year, so it's very young. And uh, we already launched our permission to test at ASPEN last October. And then we uh, after, uh, after testing and enhancing our S Pen for six months, uh, we launched public testnet, Baobab, last March. So anyone can access and test our Baobab without any permission. So when we launch our testnet, our first performance goal is fast response time. So we implemented one second block generation time with finality. It is very important for real service. So 
Kakao want to migrate their own service onto blockchain, but front blockchain has very slow response time with finality. So we need that kind of fast response time. So, and also, many enterprises, including Kakao, they want to integrate their legacy service into blockchain. So they, uh, we, have to, uh, we have to implement some support features for enterprise. So we implemented service chain and enterprise proxy. These are for enterprises. So this platform is very optimized for enterprises and services. Uh, and also, we, we hired lots of people to develop this platform. So our members is uh, 120 uh, as a full-time members, including Kakao blockchain teams. So it is very big team, and they are very dedicated to launch our mainnet. Yeah, speaking of mainnet, you guys are launching in a month. By the end of June. By the end of June. Yeah. Can you share yeah. us a little bit more details about the launch and what the clay tokens will be used for? OK. Uh, our mainnet will be released by the end of June, so just one, uh, one or two months later. So you can see our mainnet. And also, other services from Kakao will be released uh, maybe July or June at the same time. So this, this Kakao service will push their user base onto Creighton and blockchain world. I think it is it, it will change blockchain world entirely. And so we are considering new concept of airdrop. We, 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 we named it play drop or build drop. So anyone can get some token from Creighton. And I'm very curious about how normal user react token and coin because they don't have any experience to use token and coin. So uh, it, will, it will make new application using Cray. So actually, Cray is the token of Creighton, and Cray is used as gas fee, uh, like other platforms, but we expanded the uses of Cray. For example, Cray can be used for virtual currency, for trading, virtual items like NFT at, uh, on Kakao services or other external services. And also, we are considering a key currency for our Creighton-based BFs. Uh, it means other Creighton-based BF can exchange their token to Cray instantly. And also, uh, we can exchange our Cray into other Cray-based BFs instantly without any exchange. So it makes normal users exchange our token to other tokens and, and vice versa. So uh, it will enhance our token's utility and circulation. So I think it, we need this kind of new way to use platform token. So we see that a lot of social media and social messaging apps are looking to implement blockchain. Mm -hmm. For example, Tencent's testing with blockchain in China, as well as Facebook is launching a stable coin, as well as testing a blockchain with nodes working by working with the Fortune 500 companies. Um, it sounds like Kakao may be the very first social messaging app that's launching sure, sure. with a blockchain yeah. component. Can you give us some hints on how Clayton will be used within Kakao? Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh... I'd like to share our lesson. For one year, Kakao and, Cray, uh, Kakao and GroundX are searching for killer application using blockchain, but it was very tough and difficult. Because uh, if, we want, if we want to use a private blockchain, there is some concern why we don't use, uh, why we, we have to use block, private blockchain instead of a database. So we have to find out, we have to look for very specific way to use blockchain. So uh, first we propose some, some kind of DF, 
decentralized application to Kakao, but they don't understand uh, the concept of decentralization. And they, they said, why we accept decentralization for our services? So we, looking, we, are looking, we were looking for other concepts and other features of blockchain. And we finally, we finally, uh, we finally found out uh, very specific uh, features, NFT, non-fungible token, ERC721. NFT is easy to understand. And no one denied the concept of NFT. And it is very applicable to existing services. So Kakao, Kakao people can think about NFT as a new concept of their digital items. Kakao has lots of different types of digital items, like game items and digital characters and contents and artists. So they can change their digital items into tradable digital assets. So currently we are looking for various applications using NFT, like ticketing or uh, gaming and collectible. So I think you can see the first use case of NFT uh, in July or June. Great, I have one more last question and we could open up for audience for a few questions. So my last question is, is Clayton a permission blockchain? Because it sounds like you're inviting people, companies, enterprises to participate in the nodes. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about the thought behind the architecture there? Okay, uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to explain why we, accept, why we accept that kind of architecture. Uh, in terms of structuring consensus node, we are, we are permissioned consortium. So we just invited trusted big enterprise like Kakao, PUBG, and other global big enterprise to run our consensus node. But in terms of blockchain application, it is totally open and public. Anyone can run their smart contract into Creighton. So it is totally public in terms of blockchain application. This is, uh, uh, the reason why we accepted permission consortium, uh, we think we have to solve uh, scalability at first. So we need very fast response time, just one second or two seconds for our services. So we just learn, we just, we just learn our consensus node with this trusted entity as a consortium in two years. And then we will open our governance council to the public. So it is, it is kind of gradual decentralization. As you know, decentralization and scalability is kind of a trade-off. So at first, we, we have to achieve scalability and fast response time. And then after two years, we will transfer our governance and ownership to the communities. This is, way, this is why we accept this kind of architecture. That's wonderful. Anyone has a question? If you can raise your hand, I will send a mic to you. Oh, yeah. Uh, the uh, um, I have a question. The Kakao Talk is one of the most famous platform in South Korea, but it's not famous in outside of the South Korea. I have some friends in the United States, but they some of them installed Kakao Talk, but they are not stick to Kakao Talk because they use Kakao Talk only to chat with Koreans. So outside of South Korea, Kakao Talk has no influence. So how will how can you influence your Clayton to outside of South Korea? Yes. And and one more question is I heard that you had the ICO, so you had already income some monies, but that was one time income model. So do you have 
any other income model after you launch the service because you are a big company and you have already 100 to 120 employees so you need to pay their salary so you need to earn income like cont continuously so how are you going to do that oh actually very good question uh global side actually we are talking to other global big enterprise in japan and southeast asian countries this is this is the way we are go outside of korea uh, inside korea uh, we are the number one, so we don't worry about uh, Korea. But outside Korea, uh, we we don't have power. Uh, uh, we don't have power, so we have to collaborate with other big enterprise. So we already talk about uh, talk about embedding some kind of uh, blockchain service onto this kind of big enterprise. So we will collaborate with other big enterprise outside of Korea. Governance Council is a key of this collaboration. It's a starting point. It's very easy to jump into blockchain space. Even though that kind of big enterprise don't know blockchain, they can learn our consensus node and participate in governance, and they can learn how, uh, they can learn how to apply blockchain technology to their service. And also, we can we will share our knowledge and our lesson learned from Kakao to governance council members, and they will launch their service, and they will push their user base into Creighton. This is our global strategy. And also, um, next question. Uh, after launching our Creighton mainnet, we will start our own service and our own B2B solutions on top of Creighton to make revenue. So ground X is bigger than Creighton itself. Creighton is one, one product of ground X. And ground X will make our own uh, blockchain service and also some kind of B2B solutions using our Creighton. OK, another question? I think we'll have to take the question um, oh, okay, okay. after the stage. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Let's give it a round of applause for Jason. I think okay. thanking for coming thank all the so way from much. Korea.